Do you want to keep going with the replay, or did you want to go and um, do map stuff? So I'm I am also a bit con- confused right now. Mm-hmm. As I said, the thing is, so uh, I I mainly play soldier, right? Mm-hmm. But but the thing I have found out is like I am not able to play him as good as I would on some other maps, like mm-hmm. a map like T- Toronto, right? I'm so good with soldier on that map that I have like. Uh, I think so. Seventy to eighty percent win rate on that map. Mm-hmm. Uh, you said on Toronto, or Toronto? No, Toronto. Toronto. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, the some, Canadian map. Some yeah, some maps will be better for your for your character than other maps. Um, I think that's something we talked about last time, right? Because last time we talked about team compositions, right? Um, and I don't think that I gave you the chart, so just I'm I'm gonna post it in here real quick, just so you have it. Um, as well, right? Because last time we talked about about team comps, right? Yeah. Um. So basically, right, as a character who is primarily spam, right, soldier is mid ranged character. He works best when he has high grounds and flanks and range to work from. He's going to do better on maps that have high grounds and flanks and and maps to work with. So a map like Toronto has a lot of high grounds, a lot of flanks, and a lot of long, open sight lines to work with, which makes him a very good character on that map. But there are other maps where Soldier might not be so hot on, for example, something like King's Row, right? Soldier might struggle because there's not really very many flanks you can take. There's some high grounds, but not very many that are easily accessible and that not many that are in fights. Um, And it's a very close ranged map. Um, besides like last point, um, it's a very close range map. So generally what, what composition would, would work best on like King's Row then generally? Uh, I think so Brawl. Yep, exactly. Brawl as a close range comp would usually be the go-to. So that's just why naturally you're going to have some maps that you're better on, um, and some maps that you're worse off on. And I think I also mentioned this last time is that you can take it one of two ways. Either uh, you can just play soldier enough and just try to overcome your handicap because it'll be a minor handicap. So you can just play enough and just learn how to play soldier into situations and compositions where soldier's not as good. And that's perfectly reasonable. That's how um, you have people who like one trick. And we'll get, you know, their their character to top 500, right? Um, is they'll just play them enough and then they get good enough to, to carry even in bad situations where they're not very good. Um, mm-hmm. Or you can take it the other way and just pick up another character or two. It doesn't have to be too many. You don't have to, you know, learn nine characters. But you can um, maybe pick up another character or two that would fill in the gaps in your gameplay that maybe you pick up a character that's good into if you're struggling with soldier into dive you can pick up a character that's good against dive or if you're struggling with soldier or if you're struggling with soldier on brawl maps maybe you pick up a brawly character um things like that does that does that make sense yeah so uh would running reaper next to soldier be a good option um yeah so reaper would be a pretty decent option as a second pick because he's going to be pretty good on brawly maps as well as usually he's pretty decent against dive e characters as well um so other characters could be um things like junkrat um since junkrat is pretty decent is a brawly character as well as someone who's decent against dive may Brawly character, decent against dive. Torbjorn, brawly character, decent against dive. So some of these chunky characters um, with lots of health and survivability and um, junk grab with this trap and things like that. Th- those are going to be good characters to um, that would, uh, one, be good into a dive and two would be good with uh, on like brawly maps. Is that, does that make sense? Yeah, uh, I wanted to ask, is Torbjorn a very good pick against Genji as well? Because yes. when Genji has... Oh, yeah, continue. Uh, continue if you want. I, I, I was just going to ask that Genji has to, like, you know, take care of five, six things. 
Yeah. If, if Torbjorn isn't what's, there. What's particularly good against the, the Genji is his turret, because his because tur Genji um, is very mobile. Uh, Torbjorn's turret can very easily track a Genji and uh, kind of puts pressure on him and doesn't give him free reign if the turret's active. So Torbjorn's mm -hmm. turret kind of puts um, restraints on Genji and makes it hard for him to do anything. Um, and also, like, really any of those characters I just named are really good against Genji. Like, Junkrat's also really good sometimes. Like, if you get, on, um, especially on Brawly maps, if you just get spam in because he can trap Genji, he can use mines around Genji's deflect, he can just spam the heck out of Genji, things like that. So, yes, Tor Torbjorn would be good, Gen uh, Junkrat would be good, May would be pretty good. Um, things mm -hmm. that can get a get around, things that aren't squishy and can get around his deflect usually are pretty good. And like I've also wanted to ask that do I need to keep in mind about tier lists and all or they would only apply after I reach a pretty high level? Um, I would say that it really realistically, um, it's going to I'd say it's the same concept is that meta characters um, will be an advantage for you and if you're not a meta character still it'll be a handicap but so, and sometimes there are more extreme advantages there are more extreme handicaps um but generally speaking if you learn how to play your character you'll be ex ex especially if it's not a horrible character i would really i would just avoid playing like r really bad characters is just what i would say if your character's average or meta then you'll be fine, and if you learn how to play them, you'll be able to climb. Um, because you, it, it realistically is not a m hard um, restriction until you're in like team play, um, until you're at um, like competitive team play levels is where meta really takes a big foothold. Um, but you can really get uh, like one trick any character and get to top five hundred with those. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask you, um, what mm -hmm. would be like bad picks in the current meta, considering c current meta? Um, DPS wise, um, yeah, that's a good question. Um, the current meta, I would say, let's see, I'm trying to remember what, because you can find tier lists on a lot of different, a lot of different YouTubers do tier lists that go through them and things like that. Um, CarQ does really good tier lists and uh, your Overwatch does tier lists as well. Um, I can send you, send you those like, and just write down the names if you want. Um, trying to remember what they said was bad though for this meta. Um, I remember Cassidy is currently yeah. really bad. Yeah, I I think I've heard the same thing that he's not doing too too hot. Um, I think that there's some. I think May's doing really good. Um, I don't. I think Bash is doing okay. Doing not great. Let's see if I can get this up really quickly. Yeah, all right. So two months ago, yeah. Well, these are old ones. These are support ones. Yeah, on I don't know if there's like too much that's too trash. Um, Somber's okay. Cassidy's okay. Um, pretty good characters are gonna be like May. Um, I think. Hanzo's good, Soldier's good, Sojourn's good, Tracer's good. Um, I think Torb, Sim, um, Reaper are all going to find it. Far Echo are all going to fall towards the okay range. Genji towards the okay range. Shankrat, okay. Um, Ash, maybe a little bit, a little bit worse than okay. Mm hmm. And there, uh, and there is a hot fix coming, right? Uh, next week, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. It's usually usually every couple of weeks. So they are going to nerf Moga, is what people are saying. Yeah, because I think I think he's he's doing very good at the moment. So the l likely likely at the very least small nerfs coming up. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, mm, I cannot think of anything else. Uh, mm-hmm. If you don't mind, uh, can you just like uh, teach me basics of? Uh, you said Torbjorn is a good character right now or bad character? Um, he's he's gonna be pr- like okay character. He's not he's not like bad. He's not top tier. What about me? Uh, May I think is doing is in a pretty good position at the moment. And like, is May a good option to learn against uh, learn against Genji? Uh, yeah, he's she's pretty good against Genji because she has some more. So she's not going to feel threatened by Genji because of her. She's two hundred fifty HP. Right. Um. She's 250 HP. She has her ice cube, so that's gonna make her invincible. So that alone is gonna make it so that she doesn't really feel threatened by Genji because she's not very squishy. Um. And then also her just primary fire will pierce through his deflect, so that's going to melt him down pretty quickly, and you can do a lot of damage to him. Let's go. So yeah, she's uh, gonna so be a pretty can, good thing. If you can, can you uh show me how to play May quite well? Sure. Um, so there's really some basics to Mei, right? Um, you have her primary fire, um, which has a range of, uh, let's see, is this 15, 13, 12 meters, 11, 11 meters, right? Um, anything past 11 meters, you're going to be using this inside 11 meters. Anything past 11 meters, you're right clicking, right? Because then you're going to get more consistent range damage. Um, left click does piercing damage as well. Good. And so, right, what right click is? Does right click, uh, right click is a projectile. Does it have right. drop off? No, no fall off damage. So, um, it does 150 damage, and it will do that from any range. Oh, you... okay. And and the thing is, it just comes out a bit late. Yep, it's just a it's just a projectile. So it's gonna ha- so you're gonna have to um, lead your shots, meaning that the further away they are, the further ahead of ahead you're aiming so if i'm right here on somebody i'm aiming on them if they're right over here i'm aiming a little bit ahead of where they're moving um so that way it there's time for them to walk into it oh okay okay Mm -hmm. and uh and the thing is like she is a brawl character so she is Mm -hmm. decent at range but is preferably better played close range yeah exactly because so she she is she does she is pretty decent if you learn how to use her icicles she's decent at range um but like you said she's good in brawl because of this ability to pierce and she slows people with with her left click um her wall is also very powerful as a brawl tip because uh as a brawl tool because it um you primarily is used to isolate people um so usually how you're going to use wall is um, you're going to try to uh, kind of get somebody split from their team. So you can do this in a lot of different ways. Very The easiest, most simple one is you're going to use, make it so that each side of the wall is lined up with it, uh, two different walls, right? It's, it's lined up with two different sides. So that way, when you wall, there's nowhere that they're able to go. And if there's somebody on, if there's an enemy over here on this side with your whole team, they're going to die very quickly because they lose team support, right? Even if it's a tank, you can wall them off and they lose all team support and you can run up on top of them and just kill them with your team and they're going to die pretty quick. Um, So most of the time you try to isolate somebody, it can be the tank, it can be really anybody. Um, You try to put... Make it so that the wall's on two sides if you can. If not, one side is always going to be best. So notice how this right side lines up with the wall um, when I place it. Um, if I place it here, I can try to get both sides. You know, I have both sides. Um, if you place it just kind of out in the open, then they can run around either side. So it's not going to be as good. Um, so usually it's used to isolate. You can do it in doorways on choke points like this. You can use on choke points. Um, really, anyway, anywhere that you can get it to cut people off is going to be really good. Um, also, when you're using your ultimate, which freezes everybody in a giant circle, you usually want to cut off their escape route with your um, with your wall. So I can escape, ult. And then note that when you hold your freeze on people, they will freeze quicker um, in your ultimate if you're holding down your left click on them. 
Oh, okay. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. Um, other questions? Anything else? Uh, no, nothing at that at this point. Yep. Uh, if you don't mind, I can just go some unrated games, and you can. I I think so. There is time for one. I can go one unrated game, and you can just see how well I am doing with me. Sure, that I'll... works for me. Do I have you friend no. in game yet? No. No. Okay. Cool. Then let me let me add you. Because sure. mm. this... then you you won't need to, to stream if I just spectate you from in game. Oh, okay. Are you online at the moment? No, I'm offline. Oh, okay. Online. Yeah, you have to you have to go online for me to be able to um, spectate you, and then you can stop streaming if you want to. Um, it'll just be you know it's a, a bit better quality in, in game anyways. Oh, okay. Cool. <sighs> All right. Um, while we're in queue, were there any maps that you wanted um, thoughts on? Oh, I guess I actually just got a game. Oh, yeah. never. Is there any settings that I need to change? On May? Um, no, I don't actually think that she has any spe special settings. Actually, I did one thing. I was very good with her. You know, like primary fire on like mouse one. A secondary fire on mouse one. Mm -hmm. So I just did that. I just switched primary fire and secondary fire. Yeah, that, that's up to you if it uh, if it's a preference thing. Let me just change my crosshair. Okay, I'm gonna come up on probably this right side. You can try to wall Doomfist from his team. Yep. Yeah. So it's a good idea. Just gotta kinda get the timing down for it. You can also break your wall if you don't want it by pressing E again. Okay. Okay. Very nice. So already, you know, noticing a pretty good sustain that you have. Um, walls will be something that you, you know you keep practicing at, right? Um, gotta, gotta. I think there we we died when we had icicle or ice. Yeah, your icicle available, your shift. So you kind of gotta watch that. 
Um, sometimes you're at close range and you're still using right clicks, which is okay. But like usually it's a good idea to swap to your left clicks when, when they're right on top of you. Now this isn't May specific, but just watch using your ultimate when you when you are already winning the fight significantly. Mm -hmm. I'd wait for him to come in a little bit further. Yeah, like I'd wait till he co comes in pretty pretty far before you're trying to wall. things um when you're using walls just re reminder to try to connect your walls to other walls as well because otherwise they're very easy to walk around uh -huh. I i'll keep that in mind mm -hmm. other than that very good that's not you can see how it's much easier for you to sustain and stay alive with when you have a lot of tools to keep you alive um, mm -hmm. even though that, that map in particular probably isn't even a, a very brawly map in the first place, but May's pretty, pretty flexible. So she can do brawl as well as a little bit of, of range as well. So like, uh, would she be good on map like Nepal? Um, which part of Nepal? Cause map, Nepal has three parts to it. Uh, in general the part that has uh the you know there is a center platform that has two pits around it the the one that has hole like the the, the one that with the giant hole in the middle no 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 the other one the one with uh holes on either sides Hole. okay so the yeah the one underneath yes 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 that's a very good one so that's nepal village the the one where you're in the building yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's building. that one would be very good for me because there's a lot of walls that you, uh, a lot of places that you can trap them um, with your walls. Very nice. The... 
Okay. Is the Doom model glitched in your? <laughs> yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Some other fun stuff with walls. So firstly, with walls, um, a lot of the time, it's not always bad to put them far, but a lot of the times I think you're putting your walls too far out past you. So try pulling a little bit closer. Notice that you'll see the outline on the ground of where your wall's going to go if you have it pulled up. So that lets you target where you want it to go. We're at this doom fist. Yeah, he's still bugged. You can try using your ice block because that heals you and, and recovers your health as well. Yeah, I, I just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> oh my god. I just got solo ulted. Am I that annoying? Oh yeah, I'm that annoying. <laughs> but it's fun, it's fun, it's fun to be that annoying. Yes, oh, we won? We won. Okay, so we got our ult. Try to wait for people to kind of group up so you can get multiple. Wall them off so they can't run away. Oh. oh, I press shift. I press shift. <laughs> the doom fist, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, de you definitely can. W you can walk wall second, but usually it's best to wall um, before you ult because then you can spend those first seconds of your ult freezing people so they stay frozen in it, which is usually the most valuable thing to do. Because otherwise they'll run out of it. Very nice. Oh! <laughs> I'm just a second or two late pressing shift. I... Yeah. Just, it'll just be habits and getting used to it. First time you're playing the character. Okay, very good. Yeah, a lot of, lot of just like getting used to like abilities and ultimates. But besides that, like uh, you, you generally did good with like your, uh, your mechanics and, and the rest. Play of the game. All right. Um, we got five more minutes. Do you have um anything else that you, any quite other questions you have? Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, maybe uh. No, I think so. Uh, I guess. Uh, so I think so. There is only one map in Nepal where she isn't good at. There is like the tap, uh, the temple one where mm -hmm. you know the uh, the center. There is a big platform, and around it, there is also a lot of space to walk around. Um, Nepal, the one with the platform. Um, yes, yes, yes. I know which one you're talking about. Um, I can't remember the name for that one though. Shrine, I think. Um, yes. Yeah, shrine temple, shrine flesh temple, mm -hmm. and then there is, and then there is one, uh, and then there is one which is uh, really small, like a cage, mm -hmm. uh, le where the site is guarded through walls, and I think so that one is also where uh, May is really good. Yes, because mm -hmm. it's a very so close she, quarters map. Yeah, so she is good in two places. She is bad in one, right? Yeah, I would say she's less good on the on the um, the sanctum, the one with the hole in it, because that one's very um, sp it's very wide open. So she there's not as many places for her to wall, and there's other characters that have better like just con more consistent range than her, like soldier, like Hanzo, like soldier. And so that one would be a good soldier map where um, there's it's very open and flanky. Wait, the one with the pit, is that a good for Soldier? Yes, because it's because there's a lot of side angles, it's very wide out in the open, so he spammy characters are gonna be good there. I used to play Reaper there a lot because I thought that because you know uh footing is quite small and you can easily, you know, flank people. Mm -hmm. So I thought that Reaper was a good character for that map. So I used to always mm -hmm. 
Yeah, on, on the on the t on the two other ones, Reaper would be pretty good, but probably not on the on the one with the big hole in it. Not or he's uh he's decent. Like I'd say he's okay because you can because there are some ways you can play him because um if you go forwards and stuff um when you win a fight, if you hold them in the choke point, which choke points are those you know the really tiny things that they try to funnel through. If you can hold them there, then it's really close quarters, and then Reaper would be would be decent. So May wouldn't be horrible, but it um is probably just gonna be a little bit more difficult. Um, other fun tips on they is um if you press your e again you can change the direction of your wall um mm -hmm. and also if you place it at your feet you can wall yourself up which will allow you to take high grounds and this and things like that right. um, okay that, that, that is really good to know because mm -hmm. Yep. So that that you're, that's gonna be handy to like you know you can do that in a lot of different situations. Probably do stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, all right. I think that's mostly it. I'd focus on May and the tracer, and I would primarily say just focus on um, getting more familiar with their abilities and ultimates and and things like that. And uh, tracer the play style and whatnot. Right. Um let's I'll get you your recording.